السلام علیکم آئی ایم محمد روحان شاہ جہان ون آف دی ریپرزینٹیو آف ڈروگے گروپ ود اے ٹاپک مورفین سو لیٹ اسٹارٹ ود انٹروڈکشن ہیئر از ہسٹری مورفین واز آئسولیٹیڈ فرام اوپیم ان ایٹین زیرو سکس بائی فریڈرک ویل ہیم ایڈم سرچیون ہو واز اے جرمن فارمیسسٹ ان دا سول وار اٹ واز ہیولی یوز ایز این اینلچیسک فرام ویئر اٹ از اوریجنیٹیڈ opium or gum opium from which the morphine is obtained is the air dried milky exudate obtained by incising the unripe capsule of opium poppy having the scientific name papaver somniferum with the family papaveraceae its constituents are alkaloids and especially isoquinoline alkaloids in which the morphine is present about 4 to 21% now moving towards the chemistry of morphine Morphine is a naturally occurring member of a large chemical class of compounds called alkaloids having the chemical formula C17H19NO3 with a molar mass 285.34 g per mole its metabolism mainly occurs in liver about 90% it is soluble in alcohol as well as water looking towards its chemical structure it has phenolic hydroxyl group at carbon number 3 and ether bridge between the carbon number 4 and 5 an alcoholic hydroxyl group at carbon number 6 an alicyclic unsaturated linkage between carbon number 7 and 8 and a tertiary nitrogen before moving towards the pharmacology let us study the opioid receptor and their types opioid receptors are transmembrane proteins located at the synaptic membrane that serve as targets of an efficacious pain relief drug i.e. morphine These are special type of receptor called as G protein coupled receptors. They are present in brain, spinal cord and peripheral nervous system. Now, there are three types of opioid receptors called as mu opioid, delta opioid and kappa opioid receptors. Now, let us study the pharmacology of morphine. Here is the pharmacokinetics. Firstly, we are discussing the route of administration. Morphine can be taken orally, sublingually, transdermally, by inhalation, intrathecally and intraanally as well as via injections. In absorption, morphine is absorbed in the alkaline environment of the upper intestine and rectal mucosa. The bioavailability of morphine is 80 to 100%. While discussing the distribution, it can be distributed all over the body including blood brain barrier. The metabolism of morphine The metabolism of morphine occurs not only in liver where it undergoes rapid glucuronidation but may also take place in the brain and the kidneys. In the elimination, morphine is predominantly eliminated in the urine with 2 to 10% of the dose recovered as the unchanged parent drug. 7 to 10% of the dose of morphine is eliminated in the feces. Now, let us discuss the mechanism of action of morphine. Morphine shows its action by two processes, namely presynaptic inhibition and postsynaptic inhibition. In presynaptic inhibition, opioids binds to opioid receptor on the presynaptic neuron terminals. The G beta gamma subunit is released and interacts with nearby voltage gated calcium channels preventing them from opening. Now even when there is an action potential these channels can no longer open without calcium reflux. There is no neurotransmitter is released. In post synaptic inhibition opioids bind to opioid receptor on post synaptic neuron once again G beta gamma subunit is released and interacts with potassium channels in this case this interaction opens the channels and positively charged potassium ions flow out through the channels so if neurotransmitters were released and depolarization was occurring the loss of positive charge from potassium ions leaving the neuron negates the positive charge from sodium ions entering the neuron making it difficult for an action potential to form now let us discuss what g alpha io subunit do g alpha io subunit stops calf synthesis by interacting with and inhibiting adenyl cyclase this result in decrease in camp level which can also result in structural enzymatic and molecular changes due to which various signaling pathway no longer being activated or inhibited these changes affect neurotransmitter release and opioid tolerance and can happen on both presynaptic and postsynaptic neuron In this way opioids stop the signal transmission between the neurons resulting in its analgesic effect. 
we have studied the mechanism of action of morphine. Now, see the pharmacodynamic action of morphine. Morphine causes analgesic effect by presynaptic and postsynaptic inhibition and cuts off the pain stimulus as we have studied earlier. It causes this inhibition of dopamine containing neurons of ventral tegmental area and produce sense of self-contentment, euphoria and sedation. Morphine causes respiratory depression by reduction of sensitivity of respiratory center neurons to carbon dioxide. Morphine has antitrusive properties which cause depression of cough reflex. Morphine directly stimulates the chemoreceptor trigger zone in area prostrema that causes vomiting. It stimulates the mu and kappa receptor which cause pinpoint pupil by meiosis. Morphine releases histamine from mast cells causes uteric area, sweating and vasodilation. Morphine increases tone while decreasing motility of intestine causing constipation. It also causes constriction of biliary sphincter and contraction of gall bladder which results in increased pressure in biliary tract. Morphine also depresses renal functioning. Talking about the clinical indications of morphine. Morphine is used to relieve moderate to severe pain like cancer pain, severe burns, trauma, several visceral pains such as abdominal, pelvic and thoracic. It is also indicated in pulmonary edema, myocardial ischemia, non-painful conditions such as heart failure to relieve distress and also in pre-anesthetic medications. The adverse effect of morphine. They include itching, constricted pupils, sedation, nausea and vomiting, respiratory depression, constipation and hypotension when it is used for a longer period of time. What should be the dose of morphine? As we know, morphine can be given orally, subcutaneously, intravenously, intramuscularly, epidurally and intrathecally. In oral dosage, 10 to 30 ml is given per 4 hours or 150 mg per day. Intramuscular or in subcutaneous dose is 5 to 20 mg per 4 hours. Intravenously, initial dose is 4 to 10 mg slowly over 4 to 5 minutes per 4 hours. Its daily dose range from 12 to 120 mg. In children, IV dose is 0.025 to 1 mg per kg, whereas subcutaneous dose is 0.1 to 0.2 mg per kg. Epidurally, adult dose is 5 mg in lumbar region, which gives pain relief up to 24 hours. Intrathecally, adult dose include single injection of 0.2 to 1 mg to relieve pain up to 24 hours. Now, study the interaction of morphine with other drugs. The drug interaction with morphine are rare, although the depressant actions of morphine are enhanced by co-administered with CNS depressant medications such as phenothiazines and benzodiazepines. It increases the risk of respiratory depression when used with MAO inhibitors like phenylzine and also cimetidine. It can also increase the sedative effect of alcohol. Morphine will not be effective in people taking naltrexone. It also antagonizes the effect of diuretics. Now, moving towards the toxicology and treatment of overdose. Morphine poisoning results from central nervous system and respiratory system depression, manifesting as lethargy or coma, decreased respiratory rate, meiosis, pyridapnea, possibly apnea, extreme sleepiness, constipation, urinary retention. The treatment of overdose involves the use of antagonists such as naloxone and other therapeutic measures, especially ventilatory support. Now, the brands available in market are Morphia 15mg tablet, Magnus MR 10mg, Morphine Sulfate Injection 4mg per ml, Konza 10mg tablets. The other includes MS Contin, Estramov, Depor, Armeo ER ETC. The reference material for the video is available here. Thanks for watching.